Are you sure Osibajo have not been used for ritual? Where is he? Namde Kanu asked. Mazi Namde Kanu broke out again. This one is targeted to the vice president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is wondering where Osibajo is as he has not been seen for quite a long time as the vice president of Nigeria. In a statement titled, Maybe Osibajo is the Abu Baku to President Abakiari, Mazin Namekanu says, Are you sure these heartless Fulani beasts have not used Yemi Osibajo for some bizarre ritual for Abakiari? Or was what sort of economy is Osibajo coordinating when oil that is the only thing worth coordinating in the zoo is worthless and nobody wants to buy it? Who are they fooling? The only other economy that may be considered worthy of coordinating is watermelon, onions, tomatoes lettuce and pepper which has very limited export potential so which other high foreign exchange ena is he coordinating that we don't know about years of janjaweed economies by fulani rulers has ensured that nigerian produces nothing that any sensible country would like to buy what sort of pathetic explanation is this? That he is working from his office. We know that already all over the world, people are already working from their homes or offices, but they are still seen, more so when they are high-profile political office holders. Don't videos, cameras work in his office? What stops a whole vice president from addressing the people from the relative safety of his office in the absence of the president? A vice president working from the office while an unelected, unaccountable boss, Mustafa, a lowly clerk, is in front of the TV cameras every day announcing government policies which is any country inhabited by human beings, is the work of the vice president. The job boss Mustafa is doing is what Osibajo is constitutionally mandated to do. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, Mind you, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that uh, Osibajo deserve, decided to maintain a low profile while President Momo Wari's aides undoes some of the responsibilities that supposed to be handled by him. You know, looking at it, even before the death of our carry you see how osibajo was humiliated he was humiliated and abandoned in fact the 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 professor was so much um, tortured tortured in the sense that he was just taken for granted not um, not not um, given his right in terms of uh, responsibilities. He was just overlooked, uh, uh, taken as a nobody. The, the 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 responsibility which he supposed to be handling was now transferred and given to to Abakari. And some of the President Momo boys eat. But then it's, it's now still happening, even after the death of 
of uh, of Abakiari. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why the president have decided to uh, to to put uh, put shut down the 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 the, the, the position of uh, of Osibajo. I don't know why he has uh, decided not to believe not to believe Osibajo, despite all that has happened. So I want to say that we we should uh, we should uh, maintain maintain. Uh, I want to say that uh, Osibajo is a. Uh, it's a, it should just maintain one um, one mind and shouldn't bother about any of of any of of a person Morbury's um, position. Then whatever is given to him to to handle should be should be should be given to it should it, it should be he should handle it. The one that is not given to him, he should just let go. But then. I would like to ask this question if um, anyone uh, in the house will be able to answer. You know, now, questions Yoruba journalists should should be asking the president is, where is, where is your son, Osibajo, the vice president? I know that the Yorubas are not even asking about that. Instead, they are even, they are, they are after what they are going to get from the uh, Fulani uh, president, you know? And again, why is it that Buari can't even address address the country from Asorok? I don't know. I don't know why this, uh, this is happening. And um, questions concerning this keep, uh, keep, keep coming up and, and uh, keep repeating itself. You understand? So uh, I don't know why these people uh, keeps um, uh, instead of them to be asking and uh, questions of this kind, they keep beating around the bush, you know. I don't, and I still don't know why uh, uh, the president has still uh, uh, has chosen to pay uh, Adaman to to this question. To this question, this is a very important um, matter. It's a very important matter, and I see no um, big deal in in what they have just asked. So the president should um, should um, should should um, should respond to this to this um, to this um, question and do as the people as requested. Because to me, I see nothing big, nothing big or too small for him to respond to. You know. Addressing the people from Asorok, I don't know how, why, why, why it's difficult for him to do so. I don't know. So uh, if um, if there is anything he's hiding, is I will say that uh, he should try try to make it to make it um, to make it known because um, because because uh, if it's is discovered, if it's discovered. Believe you me, he's not going to. It's not going to be easy for him. It's not going to. It's going, not going to be easy for him because um, the world, the whole world, are watching, and and they are observing what he's doing. Especially now that Abakari is dead, now everybody is asking, where is the president? Where is the president? Is now uh, they, are, they are now looking at him with. A eyes of suspiciousness Th- that is to say that uh, all the why he has been functioning all because of the uh, the presence and existence of his chief of staff Abakari. Now that Abakari is no longer is no longer alive, where is he? Why is he hiding? Or is it true that he is not President Mobari? Is he Jubril? This is these are the, what the people are asking. So for him to convince the people, let him address the people publicly. 
let him address the people publicly and sh and um, show to the to the people that Mazim Nandekanu is telling a lie. So that is what I have to say. But I know strongly that Mazin Nandekanu will never tell a lie. He before he come up with any opinion, he must have done an accurate findings. So what is your own opinion concerning this? Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive notifications.